<laughs> What's up, food lovers? Welcome to the show. I'm Tony Tuton, and today we're gonna be baking some pineapple salmon recipe. Yes, you're gonna love it. Super easy, fast, and delicious. So this recipe is gonna take 20 to 30 minutes only. Super fast dinner to prep, so let's get to cooking, all right? But first, smash that like button if you like this video, and smash that subscribe button and ring that bell for me, all right? All right, now let's get to cooking. Let's go. So guys, before we do anything, we have to preheat the oven at 375 degrees. Then we can start prepping. First off, we're gonna chop up some fresh veggies. Let's start off with some fresh, fresh parsley. Remove the stems, we don't want the stems in there. So you want to chop these up really fine, good fine pieces. You don't wanna know chunks in there and set them aside. Up next is the garlic. Here we got four clove. You wanna cut them in half and then smash them down and chop them up to pieces. You don't want big pieces. You don't wanna bite them into big pieces. It'd be very, very garlicky. Set them aside after you finish. Then here we go, the star of the show, the big filet salmon. Here we want to wash and pat dry, and then we want to flip it over and do the same to the other side. You want to pat them real dry. Make sure you want to check and double check and triple check to see if there's no bones. For you, you may want to use the whole salmon filet, but for me, I just want to use half. So I cut half and put up the rest for another time. On a large baking pan, you want to use a large enough piece of foil that will cover your whole piece of filet salmon. Don't be shady, the juice will run out if you do. Here I'm using one can of sliced pineapple. You can use two cans if you're using a whole filet. Just lay them out evenly and then you want to lay the filet right on top. Just like that. Here comes the good part, lay that butter on there. Yes, don't be shy with that butter. The more butter, the merry. The more butter, the merry. After the butter, here comes the black pepper. You just wanna add the black pepper just to taste. If you don't want that much pepper, don't put that much. But in this case, I love black pepper. Yes, I do. This is garlic salt. Put as much as garlic salt as you want. Add it to taste. You don't want it salty or garlicky? Don't put that much, but I love this garlic salt. Here we go, guys. It's garlic time. Sprinkle as much as garlic as you want. Here we go. Yes, lay it on there. Okay, guys, here comes the parsley make it look pretty sprinkle it all on there yes as much as you want then after that you want to fold up the foil so the juice won't run out make it all nice and even all the way around Prepping is finally done. Now it's time to put this bad boy straight to the oven. Here we go. We want to bake it for 15 minutes at 375 degrees. After the baking time is up, we want to open up the oven and check on the filet. Then we want to finish up the top with broil to make it nice and crispy at 525 degrees for four minutes. Well, here we go guys, the finished product. 
right here. Mmm, looks delicious. First thing you want to do, squeeze the lemon on there. Give it that zest flavor. Mmm. Here we go, first bite. Super excited. Mmm, steaming hot. Mmm, that is perfectly cooked. Taste the garlic. A little pineapple on the bottom, give it a sweetness. Mmm, pepper. Taste some of this pineapple. Mmm, pineapple with the salmon. Delicious. I can't stop eating this. It's so good. Super easy. Delicious. You can cook this any night for dinner. Fast, easy, and delicious. So that's it guys. If you like this recipe, please smash the like button and smash the subscribe button and ring that bell for me, all right? Thank you for watching and I'm out. Bye.